Hello everyone, this is Corey Tafoya, Harvard Superintendent. I wanted to follow up with a video message on the letter we sent to you about shield testing. Shield testing is being instituted in the district this fall as another mitigation and protection for our students. It's a program through the University of Illinois that tests students for COVID here in our school. It's a free test and it's a saliva test for all of our students. And for all of our families, it would be an optional uh, test. No one is required to take shield testing. To opt in to shield testing for your child or any of your children, it's very easy. We have multiple options for you to complete the consent form which is required for all students. The consent forms that we have by August 23rd will be the people that immediately get to participate in the program. You can turn in the consent form, the paper copy, to your school's main office or to your teacher. But we also have an online consent form that you can complete that is available on the district's website. Finally, let me share with you why this might be an advantage to you and your family to consider for your child in our school district. Our highest priority at this point is keeping our students in school. And anyone that is deemed a close contact or is they themselves a positive case will be sent home and will have a period of exclusion where they can't be in school. And obviously that is our biggest concern for all of our students. So the shield testing is a non-invasive test. It's not a nasal swab, it's a spit test uh, taken at school. So it's really very simple. So the advantages are pretty obvious. Number one, while a student may be asymptomatic and uh, has the virus, you would be able to know early so it wouldn't spread into your family. Many of our families that are at high risk would want to know right away so there's no spread in their family, but also to their classmates, to their teammates, to people on their bus will know as soon as possible and it will really stop any type of spread. The other thing that's an advantage to this is if you are a close contact to someone that is positive, you can use the shield testing on days one, three, five, and seven, and you can stay in school the whole time and would not be on a medical exclusion having to go home and participate in our distance learning program while you're gone. That's a big advantage because you can continue to play your sport. You continue to be in class with the teachers exactly what you want you doing, and it'll prove that you're actually a negative case the whole time. That's a really critical thing because without this testing that you can opt into, we will have to assume that you might be positive and there's no proof that you are not. So that's really, in my mind, the opinion why this is something for you and your family to consider. We want all of our students in school as much as possible this year, and this is a great guarantee to help with that. Next week is a big week as our students come back to school and all of our staff too. On Tuesday at our annual meet and greets, you can get the consent form and actually be able to complete at school and turn into the main office before you leave meet and greet. We're excited to get back in person and we're not going to let the mask hide our enthusiasm to getting back, educating our students and doing the things we love most, teaching and learning. It's going to be a great school year and we're excited as always for all of your support and partnership.